What's up? Welcome back to the Jazz Network. First, I want to say congratulations to all that are going back to school. So let's get into this hairstyle, y'all. Let me tell y'all, her hair has been growing so, so, so freaking good. Like, I'm going to show some pictures um, on the side. Just so y'all from, like, what, November, December? No, this was February until now. Her hair has been growing amazing. And the things that I've been using is what I'm showing y'all, like the Blue Magic, the hair food. That um, first one was a... Um, a spray for like um heat so it's a heat protectant y'all see the oils that i'm using and yeah y'all i really enjoy just doing this video and just showing y'all just the um the stages that i take to do her hair i am not a hairstylist i am a beginner i feel like <laughs> like i've been doing hair for a couple years but i'm still a beginner i don't do it often i just do her hair and I used to do my son hair, but of course he had a ball head now. But anyway, not a ball head, but he got to cut low. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, so at the moisturizing it, I'm going to go ahead and just start with my comb and just, you know, try to get that part as straight as possible. Like I said, I am not a beast at this. I, I just do what I can. Um, so this is more so of like a beginner's friendly um, hair hairstyle or whatever. If you can braid um, and try to add in like weave and stuff, then you can do this. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do a style that, you know, braid it down in the back and then I have some going to the side. So like a semi, like mohawk or whatever. I don't know. I was just coming up with something. <laughs> but I make sure that I moisturize the crap out of her hair. Even the ends, I put grease, um, you know, like water, just like spraying it just to make sure that her hair is well hydrated. Y'all, my baby do not hold the best head. She gets very fussy when I'm doing her hair. She act like she is the sleepiest. She act like it hurts so bad. And I know I don't braid hard. As y'all can see, there is no redness, no nothing. Me pulling her hair or anything. But my daughter is who she is. And <laughs> if you know her, y'all know. <laughs> but um, anyway, so yeah, just braiding her hair all the way to the end. I do add weave in it because I've learned that, you know, adding hair... Um, after the hair is strong enough to withstand the weave it actually helps it grow like in the beginning I learned that I was adding hair too soon and like her edges was very 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 thin like she has very soft hair she um matter of fact I'm gonna post the baby picture as well <laughs> but she has very soft hair and um the top was like a little bit longer and she had no hair on the side so look she's my little bald baby and um yeah just growing it and like adding weave i guess too soon when her edges wasn't strong enough it was breaking it was damaging her hair so yeah i'm just learning that now i can be able to do different styles and make sure that i'm hydrating her hair um and just you know help nourishing it for it to grow i've learned that our hair is like plants like we need the sunlight we need the water and we need the time like plants don't grow overnight just like hair if you water it if you maintain it if you wash it good have a regimen have a um a nice like pre-poo or you know like a protein pack for your hair it will eventually grow and just like plants you need that sunlight i have her going outside a lot and just like just being in nature running sweating that sweat help your hair follicles to grow and yeah you know like they say the dirtier your scalp which i don't believe in that i really think they're meant by saying like you know if you allow that sweat and sunlight and water it will definitely grow but as y'all can see i'm doing the back i'm just adding in two pieces i think for each braid i just added in two little pieces of hair and it really did its work I didn't really need to do too much I think I might have did two to three or um, three to four I'm not really sure but I know it wasn't a lot and it didn't take a lot so yeah it was easy straight to the point and quick um, if you're anything like me I don't like to spend all day doing some hair um, I think this this style probably took me maybe I want to say two hours two and a half hours and I did wash it blow dry it and you know everything so i would say add it with all that in maybe a strong three hours um that's not too bad especially like i said when you're beginning and you're just learning how to do things um it it it's really not a bad 
when I tell y'all, little baby is super lit about going to school, like all summer, all last year, just dropping her brother off at school. She's like, Mom, I want to go to school. I want to do this. I want to do that. Take me back. Because I told y'all, we moved. Well, if y'all don't know and y'all new to the channel, we moved to Georgia. I'm stationed in Fort Benning. And she really loved her daycare back in Virginia. So every day, it was like, I want to go back to school. I want to go to school. I want to go to daycare. Why brother get to go and I don't? So, <laughs> hold on, pause. Y'all see me using the scissors? <laughs> I look like a professional. But anyway she was super lit just knowing that she's going to school within like what i did her hair the day before so she was going to school the next day she was so lit y'all she was hyped she was amped um even though she didn't want to sit and really get her hair done she was excited about going so this is her going to pre-k her first year in school and i see nothing but greatness for her I want y'all to stay tuned because I am going to show y'all vision boards that I've been doing for the kids that I am going to do and I think you guys will really like it I've never seen really a kids vision board so this is my first time trying it out just kind of like speaking life into their future speaking life into the goals that they want I really sit down and actually talk to my kids and I kind of get an idea of you know the type of kids or adults they, they gonna be if I keep them on a strong path so Stay tuned for that video of me doing vision boards for the kids. Anyway, I'm almost done with her hairstyle. I did go ahead and swoop and braid those to the side because she thinks she cute or whatever when that hair to that side, honey. She be holding her hair and be like, Mom, look. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. This was um, very painless. As y'all can see, there's no red bumps, no, no nothing. So after she munched and ate and ate and munched, I did go ahead and finish her hair and I am just setting the mousse, putting the spritz in it and I will be adding beads, which I won't be recording that part, but I would add beads in her hair, just doing like some clear and um, pink beads or clear and white. She typically loves to wear pink and wear dresses and all the other stuff. So I am gonna go ahead and add that up and spice up her uniforms because y'all, they only wearing red, white, and blue. So it ain't much you can do with that, but you can't get creative and you know add some bows that match you know like the undershirt or the shoes or something like that so I am gonna go ahead and show you all the end of it and look y'all boom bada boom bada bam look at my baby first day she happy she lit she a little nervous y'all but she made it through and she came home she told me all about her day and as y'all see she had a great day so make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in the next video peace